Hello guys, welcome to this Java tutorial for beginners. In our today's video, we will talk about some of the important string methods in Java. So without wasting time, let's get started. Now let us look at the first method of your string class that is your length method. So basically your length method will give number of characters in your string. So it will count number of characters, right? So for our string S we have six characters. So the output should be six. So let me run this program now. Now let me come and execute the program. So let me run it. And here you can see we have six as the output. Next method that we'll be looking at is your character at method and it returns a character. So we need to specify the index for which we want to find the character, right? So here I've specified zero. So zero is your first character, right? So it should output G. So let me run the program and verify the output. Now let me compile and execute the program. So let me run it. And here you can see we have G as the output. Next method what we have is, is empty method. So basically it will check for the length of a string and it will return a boolean. So if your string is of length zero, then it will return true. Otherwise it will return false. So for this statement, it will return false. While for the statement on line 10, it will return true. So let me run the program and let us verify the outputs. So let us compile and execute the program. And here you can see we have false and true as the outputs. Next method what we have is our equals method. And this method is overridden for the string class. Basically what it does is it will compare the contents of a string. And if they match irrespective of the number of objects created, then it will return true. So the content of the string is match and if they are equal then it returns true otherwise false. So let me run this program and it should output true. Now let me compile and execute the program. So let me run it and here you can see we have true as the output. Next methods that we have will modify each and every character of the string. So we have two uppercase and two lowercase method. So two uppercase method will convert each and every character to uppercase while to lowercase which convert each and every character to lowercase. So let me run the program and you know it should display Gaurav in uppercase and Gaurav in lowercase. Now let us compile and execute the program. And here you can see we have this in uppercase and the below one in lowercase. Now let us look at the concat method. So basically what concat method does is it will append a string to a specified string and it will be your separate object. So your original string remains unmodified, right? And the reference variable will always be referring to the previous string unless you are, you know, changing the reference to the new string. So let me run the program and let us see the outputs. So let me compile the program and let us execute it. So here you can see we have the new string which is Gaurav Singh. Then again we have the original string which is Gaurav and after that we have Gaurav Singh. Alright. Next method that we have is the index of method. So basically this method will find the index of the first occurrence of the argument character. Right. So here in this example I have supplied A as the argument. So the first match occurs at index 1. So it will display 1. And similar to our character we can also supply a string to the index of method. So here it will match this at the position 3. Right, so it should display 1 and 3 as the outputs. So let us run the program and verify the outputs. So let me compile and execute the program. And here you can see we have 1 and 3 as the outputs. Next method what we have is the contains method. And here we can specify a string and if it matches any of the contents within a string then it will return true. Otherwise it will return false. So here in this case it will match this array and it should return true. So let us run the program and verify the output. Now let us run the program. And here you can see we have true as the output. Now let us understand this trim method. So basically what trim method does is it will remove any white spaces from the start and end of your string. And it will not remove any white spaces in between the string content, right? So let me run the program and let us see the output. Now let us compile and execute the program. 
so here you can see this statement is printed with the white space but for the second one the white space is removed all right now let us understand the substring method of string class so basically what it does is it will extract a substring from a string and it return the new string right so here we need to specify the start index right so it will extract everything from this start index until end of the string so here i have specified two so it will you know extract u r a and v so let me run the program and let us verify the output so let me compile and execute the program so let me run it and here you can see we have the output as u r a v now there is overloaded version of your substring which has the end index so it contains your start index and the end index so it will extract the characters from your start index until your n index minus 1 so your substring method with two parameters work this way right so we need to specify the start index and the n index but it will not extract the characters until your n index it will be n index minus 1 so here in this case it will extract from u r and a so let me run the program and verify the output now let me compile the program and let us run it and here you can see the output is URA so that is it for the today's video and don't forget to subscribe for more Java programming videos like this and I will see you until next time